Dynamic Navigation, from now onward DN, was first conceived back in 2015 and roll out as a fully functionally product at the end of the same year. The problem it addressed was the same as the static guided surgery, from now onward SGS, the one with the use of surgical guides, that took place 10 years earlier. That is providing a structured and accurate approach in implantology by enabling case study and planning and guided implant placement. What brought on DN was addressing some specific limitations that were hindering the spread of SGS. That is the need to use a dedicated surgical kit, the challenges to operate in rear areas with reduced mouth openings, the lack of a proper in-situ irrigation and quality of bone assessment due to the friction of drills and surgical guide sleeves. DN since the beginning aimed at implantologists interested in a chair-side approach where all protocols were under their control with no third-party involvement. Furthermore, DN could provide some distinctive benefits such as accuracy checks before start drilling and real-time visualization on the CBCT patient anatomy. Finally, DN being a capital equipment, versus a consumable product such as a surgical guide, could represent a hefty return on investment for the busy or would-be busy implantologist. DN was not first conceived in dentistry. It dates to the end of last century when it made forays into neurosurgery. Imagine, that before that date neurosurgeons used to open skulls and operate open air. Thanks to DN they started using mini-invasive tools that enabled the substantial reduction of complications. How all these could be made possible? Well, the application of a new remarkable technology, photogrammetry, that is motion tracking and space positioning. Photogrammetry requires the use of a set of optical targets, one for patients, commonly called jaw trackers, and one for the surgical tool, commonly called drill tags. The type of tags depends on the anatomy of patient and the type of tool the surgeon wants to use. In fact, surgeons have at their disposal special adapters that can be mounted onto different tools such as contrangle, low speed and high speed, straight handpiece, piezotome, etc. On the patient side, jaw tags might vary depending on the type of edentulism. All are extraoral but get fixed intraoral. The exception is the maxilla that can accommodate a head tracker that is totally extraoral. So, let's review together what is needed to perform a DN treatment. First, you need a patient CBCT. This needs to be taken depending on the type of registration you will perform. By registration, we mean the CBCT quality control whose outcome assures congruency between CBCT and patient anatomy. There are two possible registrations, one using radiopaque fiducials, worn by patient while taking CBCT, a second performed just before surgery by using a tracer to map patient's oral landmarks that will then be registered by the software on patient's CBCT 3D rendering. For the latter then, a standard CBCT is taken with split arches and no radiopaque fiducials. The DICOM files get imported into the planning software, using a USB pen or, if an intranet is available, from the in-office CBCT server. Surgeon studies the case and decides where and how many implants for the specific treatment plan. DN enables a prosthetic-driven planning and therefore surgery. For this reason all tools are available to carrying out a thorough implant prosthetic assessment such as STL importation of diagnostic wax up and STL exportation of implant planned, from and to the lab. Therefore, multiple iOS scans can be added to the case for the assessment of soft tissue thickness and correct implant axis. Once the treatment plan has been agreed with the patient, surgeon is ready to move to surgery right away. DN offers the opportunity to move back to planning, if an objective patient assessment required so, and then again seamlessly to surgery. To perform surgery, surgeon fixes an optical target on the patient and one on her tool. By doing so, she lets stereoscopic cameras start tracking and positioning patient anatomy and hand movements. Software will superimpose, in real time, those movements onto patient CBCT. A calibration protocol is needed to let the software know the angle of contrangle and the length of the drills. The protocol is carried out using a special device that accommodate both the contrangle chuck on a peg that get rotated for 25 degrees to obtain its angle and the tip of a drill to gauge its length. If drill length varies during surgery, it gets calibrated each time. The power of DN lies on the accuracy check. Surgeon performs each time a calibration is carried out to prove that the system is all set. It consists in touching an oral landmark with the drill and finding congruency in seeing the same landmark touched on the laptop screen. If the test is positive surgeon moves on with drilling, if negative it shows that an error has been made and it needs correction before drilling. The surgeon view is indirect, 
that is she looks at the DN laptop to get guided in her drilling. Looking at patient is not forbidden but adds little value. In fact, DN laptop provides with a 3D patient representation enabling a control of risky anatomical parts such as nerves, sinuses and pinpointing thin bone volumes. In her drilling and then implant placement, surgeon is guided by a visual aid in the form of a crosshair. The center of the crosshair is the axis of the planned implant, and its apex is shown by a lateral vector that turns red once the drill has reached it. Conclusions DN is an innovation applied to dentistry inspired by similar applications in neurosurgery, orthopedics, ENT, and offer a distinctive advantage of enabling a guided surgery without a guide. The technological principle is photogrammetry, and the available tools are optical targets, laptop with planning software and DN guidance. In order to start practicing you need an investment at a starting point of 30,000 euro. Training is provided by the manufacturer and via Dynamic Navigation Society that unites all DN users worldwide.